Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from IIT BHU and welcome to my channel Code with Sunny. And today I am going to discuss the problem equal elements of uh, the very first problem of Mars circuits 2021 of Hacker Earth. So let's discuss the problem now. Uh, we have been given an integer array A consisting of n elements and we can perform the following operations on array A. Okay, so what are the operations? Let's read it out. Choose any element and increase or decrease it by 3 for costing it one coin okay and uh, choose any element and we can increase or decrease it also by two and it cost uh, that is it is free of cost okay now what uh, should be the minimum number of coins in order to make all the elements of the array equal okay so basically we have to make all the elements of the array equal by performing the uh, any of the above two operations any number of times such that we are going to have the minimum number of coins to make all the al uh, all the elements of the array a as equal okay so how we can do this problem so let's first discuss the input format and output format too first test cases will be given then n will be given and n is going to denote the number of elements of the array a, and there are n space separated integers of the array a, okay and now for each test case we have to print a single line denoting the minimum number of coins uh, to make all the elements equal so what should be our approach to solve this problem so let's move further to analyze the problem in deeper way okay so let's move further <clears throat> so what is actually given in this question we have been given an array of n elements and they can perform the following two operations on the array increase or decrease any element by three with cost of one coin and increase or decrease any element by two cost uh, it cost free of coin okay minimum number of coins to use to make the array elements equal so this was the main uh, that is key points of this question and what should be the prerequisite to solve this problem it is uh, required basic simple logic and you can also say the basic maths okay so let's understand this problem and understand the approach to solve this problem okay so i am considering an example where n is 4 the number of elements of the array is 4 and 3523 are the number of elements so before moving further for to understand this example let's uh, generalize this way how we can approach this problem so let's move further okay so uh, okay so uh, let uh, uh, the question says that uh, we can uh, uh, spend one coin and we can jump or we can jump forward by three steps or we can make an array elements reduced by three that is plus minus equal to three okay and we can cost uh, zero coin that is free of cost and we can do plus minus two to any of the array elements now you can see uh, uh, since the we have to minimize the cost and uh, you can see the free of cost operation that is plus minus 2 to any of the array element must be optimal that is we must uh, think for the case that is we okay so we must always think that uh, uh, we should always perform this operation that is the operation having cost 0 because it is it makes our uh, that is it minimizes the number of coins to be spent to make all the elements of the array equal okay so we are always uh, thinking upon the fact that we should always use this operation and if if anyhow we cannot use this operation to make the elements of the array equal then we are going to spend uh, some coins and make the elements of the array equal okay now uh, uh, one thing that should be noted here is that uh, let's suppose uh, we are uh, we have the element 2 and you can see for spending uh, that is for free of cost you can always jump from 2 to 4 or 4 to 6 or 6 to 8 it means that also you can jump from 2 to 0 also it means the, and, and uh, there is one more case also I am going to consider let's say I am at element 5 or you can say the array element is 5 you can always jump to 7 free of cost and you can always jump to 9 free of cost and similarly to 11 13 and so on and you can also jump backwards to 3 and 1 also it means that for the same parity of elements that is uh, for even parity of elements we can always jump from one element uh, we can easily uh, reach one element to the other element that is we can always reach from 2 to 8 yes because it is free of cost we can always jump 2 4 6 8 and similarly for the same parity of uh, elements that is let's say odd we can always jump to from one element to the other element how we can jump just uh, increase or decrease by plus uh, plus 2 or minus 2 and uh, which is free of cost we can always jump so and uh, how we can make the elements of the array equal so let's uh, generalize this case with the help of example that is let's say uh, I have an array 3523 so let me write it down here okay so uh, 
I have an array elements like 3, 5, 2 and 3. Okay. So, now you can see, uh, let us uh, separate the elements like, uh, okay, let me first erase this stuff. Okay, this was for explanation and nothing more than that. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, uh, this is the array element 3523, okay, and you can, you can see here, okay. Now, uh, what I am going to do, let us separate the parity, that is the, let us separate the, those elements which have same parity and those elements which has different parity, okay. So, let us separate it out, it will be like 3 and 3 and 5 and let us separate, separate those elements which have the same parity for even, okay, so it is, it is only 2. Now, you can see for all these elements like uh, 3, 3, 5, you can make these elements equal to exactly one element. So, let us say I can make all these elements to 3. Yes, we can make all these elements to 3. How we can make these elements? First is always 3, second is always 3 and 5 we can reduce 5 by, uh, let us say I can reduce by using the free of course that is plus minus 2. I am going to subtract 2. So, it becomes 3. Okay, now and uh, another case is how we can make 2 elements that is 2 equal to exactly 3. So, it is uh, we can say 2 has the parity opposite to that uh, of uh, odd parity. So, we can, we are always going to spend some coins because we cannot change the parity of 2. We uh, using the free of cost material, we can always uh, move to the that element which has the same parity. So, I am going to spend one coin whether we are going to increase by 3 or decrease by 3. Let us say I am going to increase by 3 by spending one coin. So, it, it would become 5. Now, easily 5 can be changed to 3 by using free of cost material. So, it signifies that what should be our answer in general case. So, we can always make uh, uh, the entire elements of the array equal to some odd parity element or equal to some even parity element. So, it generalizes the case that our answer should be only the minimum of these two things. What is the, what is that? Okay. So, our answer is thus the minimum of uh, minimum of odd number of elements which are odd or the and the number of elements which are even why this should be on uh, this should be our an optimal answer this is because you can see we can make the elements of the array either equal to uh, that is we can make all the elements of the array either equal to some odd parity element or equal to some even parity element so our answer should be minimum of number of elements which are odd and the number of elements which are even okay so, because we need to spend one coin to change the parity of any element. Okay. So, that is the answer of this question. So, let us move on to some approach further. Okay. So, it is like uh, count the number of odd parity elements, count the number of even parity elements. Our answer would be simply minimum of odd count and even count. So, time complexity of this process, this approach is O of n and space complexity is O of 1. Okay. So, let us move on to the code part. Okay. So, here you can see I have taken the number of test cases, then I have an n denoting the number of elements of the array and an even equal to 0 and odd equal to 0 basically counting the number of elements which have the parities of even and odd. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so I have iterated in the uh, that is I have taken the n inputs and uh, while taking the inputs I have checked the parity also. If a mod 2 is odd, I am going to increment my odd count and else I am going to increment my even count and what should be our uh, answer for this? Uh, the, for this problem, it will be so just simply minimum of odd and even because we need to change the parity of uh, those elements which are opposite to which we want. Okay, so just minimum of odd and even. So this should be our answer. Let's submit this code. Okay. Yes, it is accepted. So if you have any doubts, do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also join the Telegram channel mentioned in the description section of the video and thank you for watching this video.